Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel and today we're going to be going over a different mnemonic or word device that's going to help us memorize the 12 cranial nerves. So let's jump right in. There are 12 cranial nerves and many times it can be difficult to remember them all. I know specifically for me, whenever I took my first anatomy class back when I think I was like 18, just going into college, that was definitely a difficult task for me to remember all of my 12 cranial nerves. So here's a catchy way to help you remember them all. And we're going to kind of do this backwards from my other mnemonic videos where I present the mnemonic at the very beginning. This one is actually gonna be presented at the very end. So we're gonna go through all 12 cranial nerves, kind of touch on what they do, and then I'll provide the memorization tool that I used whenever I was in school. Cranial nerve number one is the olfactory cranial nerve and it deals with your sense of smell and the receptors for this are located in the nasal mucosa and interestingly enough the population of the world have become way more aware of the cranial nerve number one and they may not even know it but our olfactory system is in charge of our sense of smell and what have so many people lost over the last year? Their sense of smell and taste due to COVID-19. So before they were saying that the virus directly attacked our olfactory sensory neurons, but as scientists have learned more about it, they've really found out that it's actually affecting the supporting cells of the olfactory sensory neurons. Good news is that most people who've had COVID-19 get their smell back. Uh, it may be altered for a while, but they tend to get it back. I had it about a month ago. Um, I still don't have my smell back, so there's that. <laughs> anyway, let's go to cranial nerve number two. And cranial nerve number two is the optic nerve, and it is just what it sounds like. It is in charge of our vision and what we can see and what we can't see, and if you damage your optic nerve, it can actually result in permanent blindness. Cranial nerve number three is the oculomotor nerve, and it is in charge of the eyelid and eyeball movement. And the fourth nerve is the trochlear nerve, and its ability to move the eye up and down and all around is its main function. And cranial nerve number five is the trigeminal nerve, and this one provides all the sensations to like your face, your mouth, your teeth, uh, your nose, and it also helps you chew your food. One thing about the trigeminal nerve, I did go on a call one time and it was an older lady, she had trigeminal neuralgia and she had a little facial drooping, but she said she had the most intense headache of her life. So with the drooping and the intense headache, of course, my mind kind of went to stroke, but she said it was completely normal for her condition to have a little droop in her mouth and to be in intense pain like that. We went ahead and called it like it was. She did have high blood pressure and we took her to the hospital and she was not having a stroke. It was just a flare up of her trigeminal neuralgia. Trigeminal neuralgia is actually one of the most painful conditions. I learned about it in medic school because they referred to it as the suicide disease. Supposedly the people who were diagnosed with this had a higher chance of suicide because there was just really nothing that could be done about their pain. They could give them narcotics or benzos or whatever the doctor might give them and they still had zero relief. And the sixth nerve is the abducens nerve and its main function is to allow the eyes to move outward away from the nose. If you injure the abducens nerve, you can actually end up with blurred vision or double vision. And the seventh nerve is the facial nerve and it has two functions. It can help you make facial expressions and it also carries sensory information from the tongue to the inner part of the mouth. And the eighth cranial nerve is auditory and it's also known as the vestibulocochlear nerve. It has two functions. One of them has to do with your sense of balance and the other one has to do with your sense of hearing, hence auditory. Cranial nerve number nine is the glossopharyngeal nerve and it receives sensory information from your tongue, your carotid, tonsils, and even from the middle ear. It also assists in the act of swallowing. And the tenth nerve is the vagus nerve, something that we hear about a lot in EMS. It has to do with your involuntary nervous system and it controls things like your heart rate and food digestion. And if the vagus nerve is stimulated or overstimulated, it can actually actually cause a syncopal episode and make the patient pass out. It'll make their blood pressure drop, their heart rate drop, and they'll typically look really pale. Many things can cause a vasovagal reaction. Even actually just being scared can cause it. Sometimes we see it with patients that are afraid of needles. Sometimes we see it in older patients. And one of the medications that we use if the vasovagal reaction doesn't reverse itself is atropine. The 11th nerve is the accessory nerve, and its main function is to provide support to the upper back and shoulder muscle. And the very last cranial nerve is the 
hypoglossal nerve. And its main function is dealing with the movements of the tongue. And if there's any damage to the hypoglossal nerve, then unfortunately the patient loses the ability to move their tongue. And that is all of the cranial nerves. So if you'll look on the left side, that is where your word device or your mnemonic comes in. It says, oh, 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 to touch and feel a girl's very adorable hands. Seems kind of silly, but it definitely helps you whenever you're trying to remember the order. I know the first three are O's, so you're definitely going to have to memorize those on your own. But with the rest, it will help you memorize the order. Now, there are different versions of this out there. There are really, really inappropriate ones, but this is probably the most PG one. I hope this helps you. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next week. Bye!